Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making our very own wax seal stickers. So if you are interested in knowing how to make these, follow me into this video. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we talk all about the candle making business. How to make your own candles, how to start your candle business, how to run your candle business, how to grow your candle business, and all of the creative things that you can do in between rather than just making a standard candle. So today we're going to be making our own wax seal stickers. I've seen these a lot of places. People use them in many different ways as you can see here on their candles or on their products. So. I thought, you know, it would be a cool idea just to test these out and see if I could do it myself. And so I purchased the materials and I began making my very own wax seal stickers. Now, there are many different ways that you can use wax seals. You can melt the wax directly onto things and go from there. However, I have found that sometimes when making these, and let's say you're putting it on your duster, right? Just to differentiate your business, just to give the duster a little oomph if it's not printed on and you wanna make it look a little bit better, you can put a wax seal sticker here. Now, I use the wax seal sticker, um, but you can also directly melt that one to your duster and use your press that way. I just find it easier and a little bit more simple if I do this on, this is what, this is an old sticker sheet. So I have stickers for my business. After I use all of the stickers, I keep the sheets and I use them for multiple things. So this way, when you make the wax melt, it'll peel off easily, right? So here we go. I purchased these little stickers from Amazon, of course. Um, and so there's a couple of ways you can do this. You could take the sticker off of here. So I have this here so you can see overhead. And this time I press record. <laughs> so you can pull this off of here and sticky side up, just set it down on the paper. Now, there are a couple of different types of waxes that you can use. I purchased black, silver, pink, and gold. Okay. These are the stick form. I also purchased the beads. So what you do with the beads is they're just basically little pellets. You take a couple of these little pellets and you put them inside of this measuring type spoon and what you do is you take a little tea light you'll light it just make sure that's in the video and then you hold this over the tea light so the tea light is lit you hold this over the tea light. And this will then begin to melt your wax. This is a pain in the rear. It takes all day, in my opinion. And I just don't have time to wait for it. <laughs> I wish there was something. Now I did see a couple of these where um, you don't have to sit and hold it. There's like a holder and it'll hold the the measuring spoon over the flame to make it a little bit easier for you so you can be more hands free with this so let's see how long does it take for this to melt It finally melted after five minutes. Now you take it, 
Let's move the tea light out of the way. And you pour it onto your sticker. Like so. Doesn't matter if it spills over the sticker a bit, whatever. It'll still work the same. You can make a circle if you want. Just spread it how you want. It's not gonna be perfect. Ooh, that slid. That's okay. Okay, let's see how it comes out. We'll have to let it dry a little bit first and then we'll see how that comes out. But you can take your press up and the remaining wax that was around it will basically stay on the paper. Now we're gonna let that dry a little bit more because it's still extremely hot. And, ouch, I got my finger in hot wax. So after your wax dries, just go ahead and pull your press off of there. Get some of the stragglers off. And basically, this is how your wax seal will look. Then you're gonna take, you're gonna peel off the backing so that the sticker sticks to the wax melt. If there's any extra around the sticker, you can peel that off if you'd like. And then if also you wanna cut off the raggedy edges, you can. But most wax seals that I've seen are not perfect. So you definitely don't have to do this. It just depends on the look that you're going for. If you want it perfectly round, go ahead and cut off the straggly edges. If you don't care that it's not perfectly round, leave it as is. Again, completely up to you. You have to cut a little better than I do though. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. Not perfect, but done. You get the idea and then you take it and you can stick it on a box like that. You can stick it on a duster like I've done here. Or you can take it and put it on your label, like I've done here. So, this is one way, using this and a tea light. The next way is, is that dry? And as you can see, because this paper is non-stick, the wax comes off so easy, and you can continue to use this paper for your next wax seal. So this is one method here that I just showed. The next method is using a wax stick. So with the wax stick, you just light the end, like so. And then you can melt this directly on this sticker paper. Make sure it's lit. Now these wax sticks came from different companies. So some of them may work better than others. So with the wax stick, you just tilt it slightly and then the wax begins to melt. Now, you can absolutely buy these, you know, out there. I think they're sold on Etsy. Um, some people can customize the, what do you call them, the wax seals for you. But it can be pricey depending on who you go with. And if you need for them to make your personalized press. 
and it's easier I think when you do things like this yourself kind of DIY it because then you can be creative what if you purchased I don't know a hundred silver wax seals and then you're like oh my gosh those don't go with my candles or my product anymore I really wish that I had black now you're spending more money to buy a hundred black then you're spending more money to buy a hundred gold you know it's just easier to do it this way and also fairly inexpensive so it'll save you money in your business for sure so blow that out and then you take your press and you press into it I should have did this one a little more to the left but that's okay that's why we do these things live um, so you can see like it's not a perfect process there are things that will probably go wrong until you perfect it um, but that's okay that's why it's trial and error I don't show I don't just show the the good you know like okay I got these wax seal they're so cute they were so easy <laughs> uh, uh no it's not always easy so now you just pull your press off and you allow this to dry a little bit more and this time since you didn't <clears throat> excuse me I was at a market today and I did a lot of talking and a lot of explaining to my beautiful customers but it has kind of taken my voice away um and i know that i owe you all another video so i was like you know what i'm gonna go home after this market and i'm gonna make this video so bear with me <laughs> so anyway you're gonna take the sticker off and then you're gonna pick up your wax seal And then you're gonna stick the sticker directly on to the back of your wax seal like that. Make sure you press it in. Don't press too hard because you don't wanna mess up your wax seal. And this is perfectly imperfect, of course but that's okay again it just depends on what you're doing with these if it's going on a box I'd probably cut off this little edge here just to make it look a little better but I kind of like the additional wax on the outside but again if you don't Cut it off. Boom, you're done. Okay. Now, let's see if we could do one that's dual colored. So I'm gonna try to do. Hmm. Let's do silver and black. And let's see if it's like a Yin yang, yin yang, yang, yin yang in this thing. Who remembers that song? Okay, let me not age myself. All right, let's start with the black. I'm just gonna do half black and half silver so we're gonna try to make like a moon I am creative but I am no artist so don't judge if this doesn't look like a yin and yang symbol all right now let me light my silver one 
Let me just use this tea light. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. And I messed up my moon. Hurry up because we don't want the black to dry before we are done melting the silver. Yeah. Let's come on. Alright, let's press it. Okay, we're gonna see how it turns out. Oh, this one didn't cut off. There we go. Be careful with these because sometimes, like this one, I just blew it out, but it's still smoking because it's still a little lit. So make sure that it's out before you put them up. And these can be a little messy sometimes too, but that's okay. All right, it's out. This one's looking a little messy, but that's okay. It's not dry. It is not dry. So again, you could use these however you would like. Stick them directly on your jar, put them on your labels, put them on your boxes, use them as a seal to seal your tissue paper, like whatever you wanna do get creative use multiple colors it doesn't matter all right silver still not dry but that is okay i'm gonna just clip it off boom okay look at that it's two colors and then I'm gonna clip off a little bit of the silver. And then we're gonna do this piece, make it look a tad better. Once I began using scissors <laughs> and I'm trying to cut a little bit of a circle, is it just me or do you just keep going until there's nothing left? Try not to do that because I can go down that rabbit hole quick. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay. It's definitely not yin and yang, but <laughs> It works. So then, let's put our sticker on there. There we go. And then, let's see how it sticks directly to the jar. If you wanted to do that. Okay, let's center it first. That will be the center. It sticks nicely. See that? It's cool. So you can stick it directly on the jar. You can stick it directly on your label. You can stick them on your dust covers. You can put them on your box. You can put them everywhere. Now I sound like a Dr. Seuss book, but you get the drift. So anyway, I will put all of this in the description box below. If you want to indeed try to make your own wax seals, it's fun. It's easy um, to some degree. It just, it takes practice, right? 
because my circles were not complete circles like they were like all over the place but again if you look at wax seals for other companies you can see that they're not perfect and they're supposed to be that way because it's a wax seal but again if you prefer yours to be perfect let the wax get a little bit more hard and then you know try to use your press on it that way if you let it get too hard like this you see it will not it'll show up a little bit but not much also if you wanted to like I said use the sticker and make your circle directly on the sticker that way you can see that it's a perfect circle sometimes it'll go over but that's okay as well just be creative use different colors use different textures if you want to make one with glitter in it go for it do that just be creative and try to do different things as much as you can to differentiate your business I don't know how I'm going to incorporate these but I'm definitely going to incorporate them because I like the look of it I mean I really do I like the look of it so I'm gonna figure out how I'm going to incorporate these into my candles um, and go from there so this was a quick video quick little tutorial trying to give you something a little different something a little new um, so you can jazz it up a little bit and uh, yeah I'd love to know if you try using the wax sticks or if you tried to use the wax pellet which one you liked better what colors did you use was it easy for you like how did it work out for you so thank you so much for watching this video again I'm going to go ahead and leave all of this information all of the materials in the description box below and please like the video share the video subscribe to my channel and comment because engagement is so good for anyone's channel for anyone's video so liking sharing commenting subscribing all of that good stuff allows me to keep moving up in the algorithm so that I can keep making these videos so again thank you so much beautiful people for watching this video and I will be back with another one soon bye loves